Hey everybody. Uh, today I want to show you one of my favorite leg exercises, okay? One, because it's, it does work more than just your legs. Um, two, just because it's a very, uh, very good, once you get this movement down, it says you have very good control of like a, a good squat. So it's called the goblin squat. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a weight, and especially for somebody who wants to do like, you know, you don't have to do a light weight. You know, you can get a really heavy weight to do this with. You're going to hold up the weight like this. I'm going to use my palms, you see? to hold the weight, and I'm going to hold the weight like this, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the weight stays around my chin level. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn this way to show you. When I do my squat, when you do a squat without the weight, first of all, you want to make sure that when I squat down, my knees really don't pass my toes. If anything, they just line up, you know, but the idea is you want chest up, look straight ahead. I want to get as low as I can right here like this and then shoot back up. We're really focusing on the quads. But you're also going to get the glutes and the hamstrings to work also, okay? So it's a really good like lower body exercise to just do squats. So what I like to do is, you see how I just hold my hands. When I do regular squats, hands up, go down until like my elbows hit my knees. And then I come up. You see, so I just hold my hands here like this. Hands about shoulder, shoulder level. I'm going to sit my butt back, keep my chest up until I'm about here. And again, look, my knees really don't pack my toes up. You know, a lot of people do this kind of stuff. When they really don't know how to do a squat, you know, you see people do this kind of stuff, like they just don't get the motion down. They don't understand, stick the butt out here, and then I sit low. You see, so my butt has to stick out. So if you have trouble with squats, just think to yourself, butt out, chest up. Chest up, here, butt out, sit, come up, okay? Now when we add the weight, you know, it's really good because it's a good way to add weight to our squats, but also because of the way I'm holding the weight, I'm here, the same thing, remember, elbows, Go down until your elbows touch your knees here. You see, and the weight stays where it was. And then I shoot up here, shoot up. So it's just a good way to add weight to the squat, but also because of the way I'm holding the weight like this, I am working my core and a little bit of my lower back also because I'm stabilizing so I don't go forward like that, right? Because it's heavy, it's a heavy weight. So by itself, I'm here, I'm just working the quads and the glutes and the hamstrings are like just good, like, like, uh, a synergist, so uh, basically it's just like an, an assisting muscle to the exercise. And here, up, here, up. So it's mostly quad, but you still work working the glutes. Ideally, the lower I get, the more I, you know, uh, engage the glute and hamstring. But when I add this, it adds weight to the squat, so it's going to help build the muscles in my legs. But I'm also going to get a little bit of core and lower back because I don't want to go forward with the weight, right? I'm here, up. So when we breathe, right, always breathe on the hard part in here. Notice my elbows always come to my knees. I get as low as I can each time and I shoot up. And what you want to think to yourself is just keep my core tight the whole time. Core tight, shoot up. You're going to feel it here. You're going to get a little bit of lower back, glutes, hamstrings, and quads, okay? So I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked it, please share it. You know, uh, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and thanks for watching.